I'm just pushing a slab to push the slab. Also to make sure that people can hear it. What's the worst that could happen? You have me muted again? <laughs> Maybe. It's not like it would be the first time. Thing that could happen. Say something again? Something again? Eh, audio levels sound pretty good. Is it fine, or do I sound quiet? I thought you might have sounded a little bit loud, but then when you said something again, then it was fine. Perfect. Really need to get a new chair. Am I centered still? I know I didn't look over, but I guarantee you. You are. It's like magic. I'm I was kinda... watching a friend's stream. Uh -huh. And he had like all this nice scene changes and everything. I'm like, this is just you coding and you have all this stuff set up. Like, damn. I don't code. I'd have it set up. He was building a website and like it was doing great. And it just it's like oh yeah, let's just go to this scene now. And then he had it split screen with Chrome and the dev stuff. I'm like, it's the first time that you've streamed this, and it's already all set up with straight like better transitions than we had. Yeah, I have. All right, so behind we have like, good transitions I, now. Yes. Also, um, OBS. Whatever this version is, OBS Studio, I think is the new Studio? version. Yeah, allows for yeah. scene like it has built-in scene transitions. I'm pretty sure if I can set that up, I can probably automatically. If I needed to, I can probably automatically scene. You know, switch us to scenes. I'd probably just have to get the timing right. The thing is, I'd have to test it because I don't want to trust it. I'll do it during like set it up before a live show and then do it. Then like the scene doesn't change. Would look cool though. And I believe we're recording. Yeah, we're recording now too on Adobe or Russian. They don't pay me, so I ain't a, a slow be munition. <laughs> Till they give us money, I ain't saying a word of who I'm using. Say something for me. I just want to make sure I can capture you. On. Am I being captured? Yes. Or can I get free? <laughs> I'll make the Pokeball shake a few times just to throw you off. Mm, no, that's how you put a curve on it. The curves. <laughs> you do. You, you curve it and then you, you launch it high to the left and it, it always lands in the middle. Always. That's the trick to curveballs. Yeah, but sometimes they just Pokemon get free. Especially if they're legendary. God, he's like an ultra ball. By the by the way, did you see the new Pokemon game on handhelds? I heard of it, but I haven't used it. Magikarp. <laughs> I did it's... see their lovely tweet earlier today about Magikarp Z move. It is so good. Z splash. It's so <laughs> stupid good. All you do is get catch Magikarp. You're in a in a like I, I'm assuming it's canon because it is from Hal Hal Labs, and you just play a Pokemans. <laughs> you just catch Poke Magikarps and make them splash, jump. You make them jump as high as it can go. That's it. That's all the game is. As long as it doesn't get uh, captured by a Pidgey. Carpet. <laughs> Was short lived as a poke. I named him Carpet. Should have named Car him Dragoon. The Carpet 2. <laughs> Carpet 2 had a much successful lifespan. 
The, oh no, all my all my magic carps have carpet carp in their name. I think this one's called. Carpenter. You should name one Woodsmith. I should name one Woodsmith. So well, it's so fast. This game is so st stupid simple. It's like, and you get they give you all the things you need. Like you don't need to spend money. I don't know why. Like it's, I think it, I think most of it's just to promote somehow Pokemon. And maybe make money. So they have ads in it or anything? No, I mean they have like it's they have stuff you could buy like diamonds and money, but I haven't needed it. Like I've been getting diamonds nonstop for doing simple tasks. People will buy it. Probably. I need to make my magic card jump the highest. I need diamonds. Give me them. Your magic card jumps so high that splash actually does one damage. Oof. Not, listen, did you see the new? Uh, listen, there's a thing in here, right? There's a little sign that you can click that leads to a vi music video for Magic Carp. I was gonna send it to you because it was stupid hilarious. <laughs> it's <was> so good. <laughs> Song about the Legend of Magic Carp. You know, Chan, who dirty shouldn't making that Pokeball shake up. Uh oh. R R X O X L X. All hail lava screen. <laughs> Going on, ch chats. Chats getting crazy. Right. Should probably start. I'm good to go. I I was just checking, making sure everything was working. As long as chat can hear us and everything's on my side's working, so. I just don't want it to be weird. It sounds like they can hear us, so... Yeah. Alright, well... For better or worse, they can hear us. It's just... It's also... Alright, let's bring on the salt. It's gonna, it's gonna get real in this... It's gonna get real in this piece. No, just me, I'm crazy. Oh god, he, put, he, gave, he gave Sour Patch his tentacles. <laughs> Now are they sour patch octopus? No, let's not. Let's not dig deep. I did have a sour octopus gummy at work the other day. Uh, which is one? No, I had more than one. <laughs> but we actually had like sour octopi. They were weird. Was it from Trolley? Because that's a, that's the thing. I actually have no idea where they got them. They just showed up in our candy jar. Saddens one me that them. you get a. Saddens me that you work at a place with a candy jar. We have a car jar full of chocolate bars, a jar full of M&Ms, and a jar full of gummies. And upstairs, they have another jar full of sour gummies. Well, hello, they have Mr. A jar of candy bars up there too. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. All right. I should just take a picture one day and send it to you. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Thanks. Let me let me meet. Gotta you. find one of these companies. I do. Dear, oh dear God. Today is Monday, May 29th, 2017. This is episode 39 of Maelstrom Radio. Maelstrom Radio. With your hosts, Flatus and Shinder.
<laughs> and welcome everybody to Maelstrom Radio. My name is Flatus. With me, this host uh, doesn't how to work today. <laughs> I got nothing. I had nothing today. I had nothing planned. I have something for episode sixty nine written, pre written. <laughs> so in thirty episodes, prepare prepare your butt for that one. That's not a that's not a foreshadowing of what it is, by the way. <laughs> Maybe it is. It's probably not. I'm just going to stay quiet. No, no, that's not good already. I don't need you to talk. Yeah, uh, our video's dead. Oh, no. Good already. I don't need you to talk. No, you're, oh, you're, I am actually looking at the camera. I am not looking down at my phone anymore. Oh, I had whoa. some random notification that disappeared, and I don't know what it was, so. Better? Next day. The audience should just let it go. Thanks, Dad. We should have, you know what? We should have, I should have said, I should have typed you fix and then not have us not move for a second. Like, you go to stasis. Yeah. Oh. That's not fucking. Movement. Yeah, we got movement. I got some pretty serious lag on mine. Mm, I'm good on my end, but I'm also here. I mean, like, I'm watching it, and it's, like, a good solid 10 seconds after. The, I, listen, that's Twitch, not us. Yeah, that, yeah. Well, maybe we should move to Mixer or whatever the hell Microsoft Switch is beamed to now. I, I mean, they're promising faster, like, like almost instantaneous one-to-one -one streaming. They're just not gonna pay unless they pay it. Maybe we can oh wait, maybe we can get them to pay us as a partner. To do Don't it. hold your breath. We we're I'm we're a little sad that you didn't change our background. I mean We haven't been in coil in a few weeks, but we did just kill Alexander. Alright. I mean, we don't have one now. Now we do. Oh, you actually have a picture of Alexander? <laughs> no, I didn't have a picture of Alexander, but I have a picture. <laughs> oh. There was a pre it was a really nice sunset this morning in the goblet. I took a Nobody could see it. It's behind us, but it's you there. Yeah, you can't see it. <laughs> Listen, sometimes I like the jokes that I make, and sometimes those jokes are the background picture that no one can see. I really need to make a scene of what our background is so people could see the background live. Sometimes the jokes are just showing up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, like Klaus in chat, would probably be an improvement if it stayed frozen, though. Remember when Klaus was, ni Remember when Klaus was nice to us? <laughs> yeah, then you went on to his podcast. I did. I made fun of his beard twice. That's probably there was probably a multitude of things that I did. This is oh, why we can't have. Jeez, jeez, he's gutting. He's gutting us. Still waiting for the funny. All right. Well, I guess we'll just move on to Garuda King. <laughs> Speaking of the funny, uh, G G. We have a Twitter for Garuda Gang. <laughs> So, if you like social media, our, our, listen, if you're listening to this and you're in RFC and you have Twitter, you're welcome to join uh, at Grudy Gang on Twitter. We'll probably post pics of our boss kills and you can reach us there. Shin currently has, I uh, will get access to it, don't worry. I do have access to. Oh, do I? <laughs> Look at that. I don't even. I didn't even ask for access, and I got access to it. I'm pretty sure I can. I know what it is. Um. So. Uh, I'm pretty sure I would have got kicked if I didn't give you access. So. No. Wouldn't have cared. I could just rename it to Moist. Oh God no. Oh God. We have a we have a secret FC called Moist that no one's. In. Well, there's people in it, but no one's in it. Nobody wants to be in Moist. Um, so, uh, Garuda Gang is doing really great. Explosion of people. <laughs> That's what happened. Just we logged in and explosions of people happened. Um, 
So, uh, I think we're getting pretty set up for Stormblood. Uh, I'm still waiting on something to talk, waiting on an answer from a group, and then we'll know what we got, finally. So, what does that mean? Um, we'll be, there'll be some things coming down the pipeline. Um, we'll re still, re when we recruit for Gruden Gang, it, we won't just say, come to Fanfrit. It may say go to X website and and fill out X thing, and we're working on that. It's all it's all in the pipeline. It's all happening it's live. Also, we cleared Alexander normal because we were bored and we went there. We're lazy. We're lazy. We're lazy people. I know a lot of people in chat. Yeah, we just had to go in there and just get the story done. We've been you know, it's been a, it's been the time. <laughs> Shin's been busy, I've been busy. We've been running coil synced. <laughs> Cuz some I think part of one of us hates one, you know, ourselves. <laughs> probably, probably not me. Uh Shinter has the funny, not sure about the other. What the hell? What? I don't I think people <laughs> don't get uh, What? Anyway. <laughs> People in chat don't like me. <laughs> That's what I'm... Where's that? Where's... We have news. We do have news. The news is chat hates me. Nah, I Fan... don't think that's news. Yeah. No. Oh. No. Oh, no. All right. Fan kid updated again. Thanks, Chili. The only person in chat. I like you, Flattis. Thanks, Chili. Chili. That means I get. That means I get lava scorpion. So. I like. I don't know. I don't think they're intentionally trolling, but they're all spelling your name wrong too. So that's even. <laughs> it's. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, if you want to join everybody in chat and rake me over the coals, you're welcome here. <laughs> Twitch.tv forward slash Maelstrom Radio. Uh, yeah, so the fan kit updated again, so there's a bunch of new pictures, uh, new, not nude, you mishearing people. Uh, so go ahead and get more, uh, backgrounds for your PC, your phone, and go and update. I mean, if anything, you're getting fresh backgrounds. Like me, I have Final Fantasy 14 backgrounds across my computer that all change alternately in a big folder. I just keep adding to it, and it just keeps growing. And eventually gonna run out of space in my computer <laughs> because of all the background uh also final fantasy 14 uh there is is having a twitter event uh starting wednesday you can take part of the final fantasy 14 hashtag xiv 14 days challenge uh, <clears throat> so uh it's just a picture challenge so share your favorite screenshots uh between june 1st and june 14th each day is a different challenge so like not, first day is what's your favorite place to fly on a mount take a screenshot of your favorite place post it to your twitter account use hashtag xiv 14 days and and you know it's f something fun that you just do with the community and check out people's screenshot they uh do say general tips uh you know uh hiding your user interface will help um you can use slash g pose and hit uh in add uh some flair to your image and uh you know they also, please note, please avoid posting character names of other players. So that's all they ask. And uh, just have fun with it. So, we're, by the way, we're getting down to that wire. <laughs> I don't know if you know, but these June 1st to the 14th, that means there's two, a two-day gap between the you know, pre-launch of Stormblood. But also you have to pay attention because I believe June 13th is when E3 starts. It is. Let's that one say. Show us a cool shot using your favorite emote. I wonder if you can get that cool shot at E3 and then send it in. I'm already going to hate the people that have, like, they get to go play and fight Susano. Um, You mean the people that are going to get a sweet freaking shirt? I'm going to, we'll go back to the other one. I might as well talk about it now because we're talking about it. So F Final Fantasy 14 will be at E3 and 
boy, if there isn't, I beat Sasato shirt. And boy, if Flattis isn't a little salty. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little peeved. <laughs> little peeved. Go to, like, you look at FanFest, and it was this free shirt city, the first FanFest. It was like, I beat all these primal shirts, and I beat Odin, and you got the FanFest shirt itself. And we go there, and we're like, ooh, Proto Ultima. And I was like, sweet, maybe a Proto. Well, I beat Proto Ultima shirt. That sounds dope. There you go. I got nothing. We did, pro- we did, we did beat it, though. I sat in the deeps of hell and got no shirt. I beat him on a PlayStation. I did not like this. <laughs> Uh, that's right. I forgot we were using PlayStation. <laughs> we're fighting that one. I, I, they, it's like shooting me in the knee when running away from man itself. <laughs> too too deep. <laughs> too, too deep. For the... Getting weird. Man. Should it be, like welcome to the AMS like AS, ASMR version of Milstrom Radio. Welcome to Milstrom Radio. My name is Flattis, and my co-host, who will be talking moderately lower than me, is Shin. We want to thank you for joining us today. <laughs> there's somebody, right? There's one of our listeners that's deep into ASMR, and he's just like, oh, yes. Just need some, like, water and ice. And- yeah, just like, just like, like my can. Just like, mm. Delicious green tea. <laughs> the drink of Doma. <laughs> the brand is Arizona. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. <they're... laughs> I'm kind of torn if this fits more for this show or for Maelstrom. <laughs> I would, uh, I don't know. Uh, it can't throw a breaker in chat, Maelstrom Radio After Dark. I don't think, I don't, I don't think I was into ASMR, but I am now. <laughs> all right. All Maelstrom all the time. Thank you. Uh, I'm killing, yeah, that's probably, no, that's, that also happens when the show's not on. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Also, all right, well, let's, you know, speaking of making people rain, uh, it's, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how, you, why, don't think into it Let's, don't worry about it don't worry about it just go with it if you don't question it we could have just rolled right into it nobody would have thought about it that could mean that can have all sorts of meanings uh oh. ma- the make it <laughs> the make it rain event starts uh today at midnight if you're on the east coast like Shin and i are but 8 p.m Pacific Standard Time. So if you're on the West Coast, enjoy the uh, That's money. That's 11. <clears throat> Is it 11? Whatever. Fuck. I mean, we'll be asleep, most likely. We're heading into bed. Because we're old and we have jobs. Uh, so, uh, if you haven't participated in this last year, uh, I believe you get a 50% bonus to uh, MGP gains in the Gold Saucer for the time of the event. Which I have right here. Uh, this starts uh, tomorrow. It runs through uh, Monday, June twelfth, and enjoy it. I mean, you can get some cool stuff. You get a new hairstyle called the Rainmaker. You get uh, a stuffed sabo tender. So if you wanted a huggable cactus, you can also get the uh, Gold Saucer attendant card, the Roland card, and the GG card. Um, these are seasonal, uh, items. You're not going to be able to get these unless they show up on the log station in six months or next year. Doubtful. Cause I don't think, I don't think we got the emote, right? I don't think the like little, haha, I figured it out. Emote is on the, uh, log station from this. So maybe this is the one thing they're not selling. I could be wrong. I usually. So, are, pe- are people looking? Wait a minute. Are people trying to read into our show in ASMR? I'm just gonna. I'm not touching it. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. Let's, chat room's full of psychopaths. 
but we should, on we over? should really start under the salt. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's glorious. It is glorious. Boy, howdy, the PvP community, and I'm and I'm using that term lightly. Uh, I'm using that term so lightly. Uh, they are salty as shit. I don't, and I don't understand why. I and if you're listen, if you're because a PvP it's person, changed. oh boo who? It's different. I oh. was good at PvPs before, and I could kill the peoples. And now you're mm. making changes, and I'm gonna suck at it, and everything sucks. And why are you doing this? You're terrible. Because no one's playing your game. You're playing with the same fucking people that you've played with since the start of PvP. And even though adding mounts and cool shit to it got people in, guess what? People are slowly dipping back off because they're finding it to be a pain. That is why. Accept <laughs> your change. Your fate is sealed. It, but it, it's not all right let's just get into it and then <laughs> before we talk about those nutcases i mean we're gonna lose the listeners you're not nutcases i'm just you're just you're wrong and i'm gonna explain why. <laughs> all right so level restrictions were too high too many job a- and we're gonna explain each one of these all right so level restrictions were too high too many job actions pvp is not pve Large action point disparity, overly complex controls. This is all correct. This is 100%. This is why they need a change. Yes. If you were one of those people that knew how to PvP correctly, guess what? You were in a 1% margin of the top. And guess what? That does not make it a fun thing for other people. It makes it terrible. It, it, it forces people to uh, win trade, um, force just to lose just to get farm lore do whatever like they like i'd, I'd hop into uh, pvp and people would just not try they would just wouldn't try because it's too it's too, the, the skill gap is way too big and i'm all about games that are like hey listen guess what we're gonna we're gonna look at everything and make our skill gap a lot lower it's a barrier to entry lower but guess what if you're really good the the skill ceiling could be really high for this so I would think everyone you want low skill gap but high skill ceiling. Yes. <laughs> and because they have the option. Then it's not so much about can the player play. It's yeah, everyone's can play, but if you play better, then you will win more. That's 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 the trick. Alright, so what are they doing? <laughs> They're uh, removing level restrictions. So any job over thirty can participate, which is fan that's a great idea. Everybody should just go and lock a job. And then you can start rolling through PvP. I've had friends that love playing PvP in Warcraft. But you can start doing PvP love, like eh, level 10, 15, 15? I think 10 or 15. I, it's been a while since I started that low level. But you can also level that way. That's also an option in Warcraft. That's not an option here in this game. So like, but so I had friends who were just like, hey, listen, I when can I PvP? I'm like, level 50. They're like, Dear God, <laughs> all right, I will. Don't they don't care about PVE? They don't they care about the story. This is, this is also something else we're going to talk about a little bit later again. Now but, we don't necessarily know what they're going to do with this whole jobs over thirty thing. I'm guessing it's going to be something like you're just going to get bumped up to fifty or sixty or whatever the current zone is going to be, or the the current uh, level for PVP would be, but. We haven't got any real information on what's going on there. Yeah, uh, or 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 maybe they just set everybody at a certain stat weight. Like, all right, well, all, all tanks are this. All or uh, the, all these classes are in one health pool. Healers well, that's what it, it sounds like. They from the live stream they had like everyone. You went to the PvP area. This is your health now. But again, like it, we don't know because right now we have fifty rate or sorry fifty maps. We have sixty maps, and presumably we'll get more. So, like, are they gonna? Are each of the maps gonna be redesigned in order to be just flat across the board, or are we gonna have a set of fifty maps with only so certain health pools, and then sixty maps with certain health pools, and then seventy maps with other ones? Yes. So, uh, your PvP attributes will be determined by roll, tank healer, uh, melee DPS, range DPS, and caster. And now gear will be appearance only. That's a big change. 
that means the gear that uh that is out there is now just uh glamour <laughs> it doesn't uh hold value uh for pvp anymore so my kaiba set is now useless. <laughs> not useless i guess it was worth getting because now i can get it's diable so i got the diable set um which, but ha have they ended that? I haven't gone out to the docks in a while. Is that still going on? Does anybody know in chat who's been out to the the wolves den out like out there? Is that that still that person still out there just chilling? Maybe I don't know. I know you can still do the because it's an achievement based thing. So, but I don't know if the quest is still going on. Probably not. Uh, <clears throat> uh, PVP hot bars for each job separate from PVB. That's fantastic. I am so thankful for that so thankful that is uh garo lasts till after stormblood released all right thanks can uh so get it going now all right july now is that just to get the mounts or is that just to get the quest because i'm still confused by the whole like i saw it will have the title and i saw the achievement is that a th so These i, are, I have lo still get the or the, as long as you have the gear, you can still get the achievement and the, uh, presumably the mounts because they're tied to the achievements. Uh, sorry, yeah, so you get the achievements as long as you already have the title and the gear. Okay. Because in order to get the achievement, you have to complete it so many times with the title. So if you and have gear. the title and you have the gear already, which you would have from the title, then you would automatically be able to qualify for those achievements after it's done. But you can only acquire the gear and therefore the title up until whenever the, the actual event lasts. And you need to be 60 in order to equip the gear. Well, this may, this may change. Well, I don't know, storms a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I guess whenever. It, you'll have to be 60 to equip the gear. True. Oh, Piasa Brad. Hello, hello, monkey. Uh, so, uh, I'm still, I'm still down for the we'll PvP hot bar. I, yes, I'm still, I'm yeah, also excited. We'll, we'll come back to the PvP hot bar because I think that's a really important change here. Yes. Uh, all PvP actions are PvP specific. So nine actions, uh, per job plus two selectable plus a gener adrenaline rush. That's, that's super simplified because that's nine actions, but we also know that's nine actions that... There's nine buttons, but like, there's like there may be one button that does in, in like one set of a combo, so you may be able to click one button as it goes through. Now, to me, this looks a lot like a MOBA style action bar, almost like like based on the action bars we kind of saw in the video and the pictures, it's a little MOBA esque, a little Guild Wars two esque, like somewhere in between those two things. Yes. Uh, which is not bad because those are two PvP systems that are really good. <laughs> Guild Wars 2 being really great PvP if you've ever played it. If you've not, it's free. Go get Guild Wars 2 and try it out. If you're if you have nothing else to do right now. No, no, no. You have to purchase Guild Wars 2. There's no subscription. No, you can get Guild Wars like the first like not the expansion, but like you can get base Guild Wars. Is the Wars. base game free now? Yeah, the base game's free. Oh. So, I don't listen. <clears throat> Maybe you uh, have your feast one if you weren't on Twitter. What is going on? She was giving me crap because I was talking to her on Twitter in the middle of the show. Oh, is that what you're doing during the show? <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm supposed to pay attention or anything. <laughs> yeah, no. It's, what's what's this video? All right. Okay, but we, I, let, let's let's hold on to the Guild Wars two thing and keep going through here because I definitely right. want to go back to the Guild Wars two thing, particularly sure. with the PvP hot bars. Okay. That's where my PvP knowledge comes from. So, so uh, what this does now allow is that PvP uh, balancing is separate from PVE balancing. Phenomenal! This is great. PvP changes don't affect PVE. PVE Smart. changes don't affect PvP. It's almost like it's designed for it. Yeah, that's called good game design. <laughs> let me 
Let me tell you something about Flatus. Flatus may not be a game designer, but Flatus did read a book on game design <laughs> in his spare time when he worked at GameStop because we had copies of one. I, I learned something. I also learned I don't like games. <laughs> and now we that's how we got that's how we never got sponsored from games. <laughs> One of us is okay with that. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe me. Probably not shit. Probably, probably. Listen, they still I don't Let's not get into it. Uh so yeah. Monks oh. Celebrate. Oh. I thought you were trying to say that GameStop is a dragoon of brick and mortar stores. <laughs> it's a dra dragoon lollipop. You're not wrong. It's a dragoon. It's a lollipop dragoon. <laughs> Today I learned Maelstrom Radio can't read. Wait, what? Can what? read. Oh, can. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Maelstrom Radio can read. It's been a long the day. The other one Let's... uses speech. Have I told you about the green tea? <laughs> Let me go back to the ASMR, because I think I was better at that tonight. <laughs> Did this. I'm going to go back to the ASMR, because I was knocking that out of the park. <laughs> uh, all right, so direction requirements have been removed from uh, Melee DPS. That's fantastic as well. Um, so, you know, Dragoon. Dragoon and Monk celebrates. Yes. Uh, consolidated combos will free up hot bar space. Yay! Yes. So you just hit one, 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 and do a whole combo. Yeah. Now the question is... I, I like that. Yes, now the question is, adding the, the two... Now, we, we said there's two uh, uh, selectable uh, actions or abilities or that you, but you'll be able to assign yourself. Now, those two things may be able to affect combos, stun people, uh give you health bad we don't know what they do yet but it almost seems yet again something uh, akin to um a moba where you have the ability to maybe like in league of legends you have the shop or dota you have the shop um here you know uh, uh smite shop uh heroes of the storm nobody really plays that one but <laughs> <laughs> poor heroes <laughs> poor heroes of the storm uh, um but like that's my favorite hero though it it does is it murky you know it's that little mo or the little probe oh probius yeah yeah i've yeah. never played it but it just it just looks cool you, just, you can uh, construct additional pylon yeah see look Ogmore said i play hots for overwatch skins that's the only reason people play hots the only there's a bunch of that listen any hero of the storm player if you're listening to this you listen to our show because you play final fantasy 14 i play heroes of the storm i'm in the same group as you but i learned to make fun of us because <laughs> guess what because nope. you make fun of everybody because i know for a fact that when you call an update to a game 2.0 i expect actual changes not a storefront change <laughs> That's a different show for a different day. Wait, Flatus has something on his camera. What do I have on my camera? I don't... No, your they... camera's fine. Right. It just might look weird because your uh, shelf kind of comes right down at the same angle on your uh, headphones. Does it? Wow. So it looks like your uh, the corner is cut off. Is it me? Is my mom? Is that you do have some... No. It looks like yeah, I can see what chat's talking about now. It, your uh, mic is cutting over, so there's a little dot on the camera. Yeah, chat. I'm gonna move this. So, you... <laughs> hope I don't break it. But if you can, I mean, that's my mic. <laughs> that's what you see. It's okay. I need that right about there. Is that that's how you hear me. <laughs> that thing is a shock mount, so it doesn't absorbs bumps and whatnot. It's uh, still on the screen. <laughs> It's going to be there. <laughs> I ha I need it there so my Hold on. Hold hold you did please. Make it worse. That that's the part. That's the great part. Wait, there better? Is that better? It's off the screen now. I now I don't <laughs> Now I got to look audio at my audio. Great. Yeah, audio is great. It is great. <laughs> We all learned something. GG. I can't wait for the audio version of this to go out. They're going to be like, what the fuck happened? 
I feel bad for the late listeners later. Uh, <laughs> all right, so uh, I always feel bad for the listeners later. Yeah. Yeah, t- I know, right? Today we watch this chat trolls flattest. That's what's happening today. Yeah, I know my immersion. Oh, God. All right, adding equipment. So you'll be able to, these two abilities, you'll be able to swap in and out. They're going to have uh, a, a little. Now, if you don't choose one at the beginning of the match, don't worry, because you're going to get just two assigned to you automatically. Um, but you'll be able to choose. I like that. I like that there's a little bit of my choice. Like, all right, I like these two for my tank because. I need MP regeneration because I'm a Dark Knight for, you know, whatever it is, like whatever these are going to be. It's, it's, I like that. I like there's a little bit of choice in what I get and I, I didn't think that's cool. So, this being said, Shin and I, as soon as we saw the, I don't know what he's looking at. <laughs> Shin and I, as soon as we were watching Bad the video. Things. Uh-oh, I can't. Uh... Oh jeez, uh, I can't. Uh oh, I don't. When you're me, he's worrying me now. Are you? Are you just looking at chat? Or tell me you're just looking. Chili's at chat. already made a Twitch clip of the whole "you can't read" thing. Oh great, perfect. And it's out on Twitter. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, how do you know you made it? <laughs> how do you know you made it on 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 streaming and communities? Is when somebody makes a Twitch clip of you and you're reading chat and you're an idiot. <laughs> I got listen, you know what? I was gonna save this for when I was reading later, but Shin, go ahead and talk about the whole Guild Wars 2 thing. Don't don't leave open air. Just start talking. Alright, so one of the first things that uh Flatus and I both talked about as soon as we heard these changes was like this sounds a lot like Guild Wars 2, and I think that it's really similar to the system that they've implemented, although maybe not quite as uh, interesting. To be fair, Guild Wars 2 did do this from the start, so they had a huge advantage here. But basically, Guild Wars 2 allows you to PvP straight from level 1, uh, completely separate from the main PvE game. So they have all of your skills are unlocked, all of your weapons, whatever. You have a standard set of gear that you go in with. Uh, so everyone's more or less on the exact same playing field. So at that point, it's really what's your skill level while you're playing. And this also applies to uh, their uh, matches as well as I believe the world versus world versus world stuff. Not 100% sure on that because it's been a few years since I've actually played Guild Wars 2. But anyways, they have all of the, so every class can do whatever spec they want, uh, whatever uh, skill set that they want, uh, but, and then you have that skill set during your match. So likewise, it, it similar to are we have pretty static pvp bars right now you're just everyone's gonna have the same set of abilities which really helps level that playing field of everyone can do the same thing it's just are you good at doing the thing uh likewise without having pvp attributes uh attributed to your gear you well okay i can't comment on that it's been a long time but uh, having it so that you can go into PvP at a low level, like yes, you have to have a job unlocked. That makes sense for Final Fantasy, considering that you don't get your job actions until 30. This keeps it the playing field even, so you don't have a whole bunch of people coming in at level one, just being like an Arcanist or a Pugilist or something like that. So with all that being said, I, I think that this system that we're getting introduced is going to be very similar to that, and I think that's a really good thing because it does give a nice even playing field for uh, PvP. It should allow more people to experience PvP, to get involved with it, and just generally start, uh, I won't say enjoying PvP because that's a little bit much to ask from a lot of people, but it should make it a little bit easier for people to get involved with it and hopefully uh, learn to enjoy it a little bit more and reduce the whole really, really overpowered people uh, there's no, not going to be any action point disparity. I'm not going to have all my points and certain abilities, whereas you have none. Uh, you're only going to be limited to so many buttons, so it's not like a console player will have it different from a PC player. Uh, and I know a lot of people will complain about that because, you know, we're all dumbing it down for it. You know what? Nine actions is great. It allows you to do a lot of different combinations. It allows you to play a lot of different ways. Uh, I don't think it's going to dumb it down in the sense that... Well, it does in the sense that uh, you don't have as many buttons, but if the fact that you have more buttons is the only reason why you think PvP is complex, 
you probably know nothing about PvP. This is coming from someone who does not PvP and mostly PvP in Guild Wars 2 because it was actually an amazing system. And despite all of the other games that I've played, I have not found PvP as enjoyable as when I played Guild Wars 2. Fucking wrecked. I just slammed that whole beer, by the way. I did that. I did that like first thirty seconds in your whole your your whole monologue. I he's I know, you, you played the Guild Wars two too, so you have some comments on this as well. Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, you know how fun Guild Wars two PvP is? It's fantastic. Yes. It was simple. But it was, like, the people that were, like, all you had was a few buttons, but the people that were really good at PvP in Guild Wars 2 stood out. Because it wasn't about how, you know, how, like, let me do this rotation of 20 buttons to to kill you. It was my my maneuverability, how I could, play like, play the the the, the movement of the, the playing field against the people I was going up against. Um... Height had a big thing in there because you could store like the castles. You can be up top and then shoot down or pull. like that. All came into uh, to play. It was fantastic. Now we do know that there is going to be changes like new PvP types in um, Stormblood. I hope that Yoshi P does look at something like Guild Wars Two and he's like, "This is a really great system. We could do this seventy-two person." pvp but maybe split it into two teams and and have this like massive battle that would be fantastic i'm all for ballistas and and like oil like using like things that could debuff a party or like like that'd be great be awesome let's do it (laughs) because you could do 2v2 like teams and have massive battles that way versus instead of doing the three if you want to get away from the grand company um situation so um klaus and chat blitzball <laughs> as long as it's not final fantasy 10 blitzball sure it's all it's i'm okay with that if it's not final fantasy 10 blitzball why not so i do also want to point out something else that when they have their they do have team versus team pvp so that's one team versus another team but their world versus world versus world is three teams which their world versus world versus world is a, I think it's an awesome and I would love to see something similar, but probably not happen with Final Fantasy. But if you're going to have two teams against each other, unless it's like an actual, like the Feast is a two team thing, that's fine. That matches a lot to the, the Guild Wars 2 matches. But having a three team thing is just so much better than having a two team for our like frontline style. Uh, yeah, I mean, would it be cool though? Like, you could have, like, why not have like massive feast? Like, I don't know what you'd call that. What would you call like a massive feast? The, the buffet. <laughs> it's, it's like the giant two v two teams, and it's called the buffet. Maybe. No. <laughs> Listen, you. C- <laughs> feast is a great name. I don't know what else we call it. No, Smor- Klaus has got it right. Smorgasbord. Smorgasbord is going to be a lot better than a buffet. Yeah. Buffet, yeah, buffet, buffet would, a, no, no, no. Buffet would be a massive free for all. I'm okay with that. So like I'm totally okay. People with just that. everyone goes out and good luck. Yeah, GG. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Hungry, hungry hippos. Hungry Lala. Can we? Can we? We can't steal that, right? Can't steal hungry, hungry hippos. It's like. It's, uh, I like alliteration. It's a great, it's a great alliteration. I mean, Lala. I mean, if you wanted to use it for Lala's, it'd be like licky, licky Lala's. <laughs> like the things that we invent on this show that just should never be. Yeah, hashtag licky, licky Lala's. <laughs> Lonely, lonely lawless? No, no, because you put you put more one you put more than one potato in a sack. They're not lonely. <laughs> that beer gave me a power. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I can't wait to talk about the next thing. Uh so yeah, it's it, like I said, it, this is a mix of somewhere between Guild Wars Two. <laughs> 
<laughs> and don't like the what well lollafels are toads are they, <laughs> if i lick one i'm gonna have a trip wait all right well i guess it's the new the new headcanon for lollafels that they have a they excrete of a toxin on their skin and that if you lick it you get a uh some sort of warped you know high <laughs> everybody look chilly <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, at least ask Chili for permission. Don't just lick Chili. So Lala porn is like midget porn. Okay, I can't reach that. <laughs> That's we're getting we're going deep deep into a dark place. All right. Um. So, uh, and also you have to think like like look at games of. Let's take Smite for example. Smite's very simple. Your your skills upgrade. There's combos within a, a Smite game, and Smite. I feel is f fun as shit for a MOBA. Um, it's a lot. It, uh, I like the back and forth. Uh, my favorite is I can't remember his name. It's like the little dude and he grows really big, like big baby. It's great times. What? Yeah, I I don't know what god it is. It's like the little dude and he grows really big. It's a like Buddha maybe. I don't know. It's not Buddha, but it's one of. The <laughs> Let's, don't judge me. I don't know his name. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite guy. It's that or the guy that paints with souls. I like, I don't like, I don't listen. There's a lot of freaking characters in Smite, all right? But I'm think it's like this little dude, right? And he grows really big. That's his power. That's his special. He was gigantic and I'm like, "Big baby." And I start stomping on people. It's great. <laughs> Anybody that plays Smite knows what I'm talking about right now, all right? <laughs> Don't judge me. And the rest of us are just really confused. And everybody, are hard. Everybody knows about Big Baby Smash Smash. <laughs> some days, some days I really like our show because that rolled off the top of my head was Big Baby Smash Smash, and be sure as shit I'll have that shirt made by tomorrow. <laughs> I love Smite because High Res gave me free money and a founder's pack. Chili, what's the name of the big baby Smash Bash character? <laughs> you gotta also High Res give me free money <laughs> in the founder's pack. I want big baby Smash Bash on the lowdown. Locked. Um I'm getting all sorts of notifications. I don't even know what's going on for a show right now. Um let's talk about let's talk about Jump Potion. I mean do you have a, all right, before we move into that. Is there anything else we have for PvP? I'm excited. I'm excited. Personally, I'm excited for the changes in PvP. Um, because I think this is something, as a as an FC leader, I think this is something we can do together as a group. And I think the changes are simple enough where we can bring everybody. Anybody that's scared of PvP before doesn't have to be really scared. Because it's like, listen, it's nine buttons. We'll go in there. We can have some fun. Don't have to worry about it. <laughs> now, I still think that this doesn't quite cater to a more casual PvP audience. Like if you want to get people just kind of in quick, not really uh, invested, like for the, the actual PvP crowd and stuff, it makes sense to have matches like the Feast, like our front lines uh, and stuff like that. But to build in some of the more uh, casual players or get people introduced to PvP, the small like little fun mini games like Capture the Flag and, uh, and those sort of style games are... I find a lot more interesting in that you can just kind of pick it up, play a quick match, and you're not really invested in it. Like, even front lines, you're, there's not a whole lot of investment that you have to put into it. Um, I found when I was playing EQ2, they had a capture the flag match, which was literally two teams, uh, two, like, a big symmetrical map. You guard your flag, you capture the other team's flag. They were at 15, 20 minute matches, and they were amazing. Like, no one took them seriously. They weren't for skill they weren't for anything it was just a lot of fun and i think that having something like that added to the game would help bring a lot of that more casual crowd and bringing in your friends that aren't familiar with pvp or don't like pvp yes uh so expect maybe some pvp streams from us in the future because <laughs> i think it'd be fun i think it'd be something we could do on a friday night and just hang out and pvp streams all right, so <clears throat> this is going to be the last time I think on this show we talk about jump potions unless I get one, which I might. <laughs> and Also um, about Lollafell's getting licked. Yeah. Chad is getting into weird places. <laughs> yeah. 
don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's all broken. Uh, so, oh boy. Listen, I, I need to... We, we need to have a talk, not Shin and I, but community and I, we need to have a talk, especially like, I'm not going to name names, real but talk. real talk. Some of the folks on certain communities, Reddit, certain communities, fan for a Facebook page, you all need to calm your shit down about this jump potion. Like a lot of you are freaking out over the smallest of things. I've played World of Warcraft and people jumped from level one up to max level character and guess what? It didn't hurt anything. I know there are were the people were people that did understand the classes, sure. Do we have to worry about them? No. You play with them once, you tell for them everyone. Yeah. For everyone who is worried that jump potions will mean that there's gonna be people at max or high level that suck. Spoilers. There are people currently at max level who really suck. Yeah. It's not going to change. It's not it's not going to change it. It's not. It's There's not also all. people at max level who are really good at what they do. And you know what? Maybe you'll get more of those people because some people just naturally play. So, if you take any other high level player from any other MMO and you throw them into our game, guess what? They're going to, if you jump them to a high level, guess what they're going to do? They're going to sit down and do the same thing they do in any other MMO they play, look up the strats, look up the rotations, and they're, they're going to test themselves on dummies. They may throw themselves into a dungeon. They may ask for tips from players. And guess what? They're going to eventually get really good at their class because this is the type of games they play. The people that and if don't, they don't want, they probably won't keep playing. Yeah, all they did at that point was give SC a lot of money, which is fine for us. That means, you know why that's okay for us, Shin and I and everybody else? Because guess what? That means more money comes into the game. That means better expansions, better services. Um, better servers. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Like, you guys, it's not all bad. I Listen, and we can agree to disagree. <laughs> I'm okay with that. But... Don't come at me and say I'm wrong <laughs> because you're wrong as well. <laughs> I, I understand your point. I understand there's going to be people that don't care. Like they're not going to want to learn. They just wanted to jump up to the max to see what, what the hype is about with Final Fantasy 14. That happens. That's going to happen to any game. Someone's going to have someone that has money that doesn't have time and can play an MMO. Guess what? By all means, spend your money, jump your characters, skip the story if you want. If that's on you and you have the money to do that, that is on you. And congratulations. <laughs> if you take the time to learn your character class because you have the time to do that but not the other stuff to catch up to where I'm at. And if you're one of my friends, I have friends that will want to play this game now because they're like, oh, wait, cool. I can just jump my character up and just be where you're at. They're, and they're guess what? They're MMO veterans. I know that they have the ability to get to work my level and play at a great level. Yeah, jump potions developed warlords. <laughs> you're not, yeah, you're not kidding. So, I mean, and it's not going to hurt the new classes either. Like Samurai and Red Mage, you cannot jump. So you don't have to worry about that. Like they're actually making people have to level the, the 20 levels to 70 to learn those two classes. I mean, I'm failing to see the bad. I am failing to see the bad. <laughs> You see a bad word. The bad is that this is change, and everyone freaks out anytime there's a little bit of change because it's something different than what they know, and they are sad because now they are not going to know everything. Uh, oh, and it's baby. great because their salty tears fuel us. Yeah. You know, my favorite tweet, my favorite portion, my favorite part was when somebody said, like, you, warning, like, think before you jump. <laughs> Quoted that you won't get. Mounts, minions, and and certain materi materia of all things. I was like, materia? So you're worried about fucking materia with the expansion coming out? You're worried about that? And I knew it's probably the quest stuff, right? Like, you're not going to get the mana cutter, for example, because you're skipping the story. What do you care? What do you care? It's just the fucking mount. People are going to get mounts in Stormblood. They're not going to care if they want it. Like, listen, if they really wanted that mount for all reasons, if they wanted it, they can go level a character from one to 60 and get the mana cutter. It's not going to listen. That is that going to make and break them their life? No, they're not going to care. They're, like completionists. If you're a completionist, you're going to go from one to 60, not by jump potion because you're a completionist because you want the achievements. 
let's cut that out right now. Let's get those people cut out because they're still going to do it. Somebody that doesn't care that just wants to play at top level, guess what they're going to do? They're just going to pay and be done with it. People that don't care about the story, that's fine. I care about the story. But the people that don't, I don't want to force them to, they're like, <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, do you not want new players to come join us? Because there may be people that give two shits about, they don't care about story in World of Warcraft, they don't care story about Rift, they don't care about story in EQ2, they care a story about Guild Wars for credit. And that's, like, all these are, like, my age story. They don't care. All they want to do is level a character and do the end game stuff, whatever that is. is be it raids, be it PvP, be it PV. They don't care that our character killed all their friends died and they marched north to the fucking snow. All right. And you're sitting there. Listen, you want the short and nasty and what the fucking Heaven's Word story is here? <laughs> Saving this one. All right. All my friends are dead, I'm going north, all right? All I have with me is Alpha Note to Taru, and guess what? They're my only two pals, and this is fucked, all right? We go north to the Vatican, all right? And evil Pope is up there with his freaking giant Pope hat, and I don't trust him. He's got whispers from, just whispers from evil men in his ears, and I don't care. He's got Knights of 12, whatever. Nobody likes us. Alpha Note goes to court. I gotta go bail his ass out because, you know, he's a punk teen, apparently, all of a sudden. So Taro's hanging down at the bar probably for the best who knows all of a sudden i gotta go and i, I meet a Estinian. he's grumpy as shit <laughs> we go we gotta go we gotta go try to stop legs legs eh, she's cool i like her we go talk to dragons and she's like but i love you and the dragon's like not today <laughs> and she's like oh no my life is a lie all right and then Estinian's like well i told you <laughs> dragons can't be trusted and then we go and we go and we go kill the evil dragon's a lady his side piece right <laughs> then then don't no don't shake your head then we go to his joint and we kill him we stab well I, we kill him and then Estinian because Estinian's weakened for whatever reason then all of a sudden he was like no i got this guy's poke stabs into the head and he's dead it gets covered in his blood not one fucking shower days Maybe a month. I'm not sure of the time of passage, but not one shower covered in freaking dragon blood. All right. So, <laughs> so we go through. Everything's fine, sort of. And then next thing you know, Stinian's got two eyes now. Oh, by the way, their dragon eyes got power for whatever reason. Uh, and then, then, all right, we go through a church and we start killing knights. And the knights are all mad, and they kill our best fucking friend, Mr. Coco himself. A hero, a hero, a smile better suits a hero. And I don't like it. I didn't like that they killed Harshafon. You fucking, you're evil people. I don't like you. <laughs> all right. Then, then he's a, he flies away. He's away. All right, he's away. And then I was like, no, fuck it. We're gonna go kill evil Pope. We go kill evil Pope. And his twelve. All right. We take him out. <laughs> Take him out. They're all like, guess what? I'm the fucking warrior light. Did you not know what I did in down in a realm reborn? I killed a bunch of primals. I'm kill your ass too. All right. And he did it. We did it. <laughs> all right. We go back and Estinian's like, I don't feel so good. Next thing you know, he's a fucking dragon. I don't know what's going on over there. I was like, God damn it. I told you to wash that goddamn blood off three days ago. You're still covered in blood, Estinian. Now you're a dragon. I don't like it. All right. So now, <laughs> now, <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> I'm learning out of breath, but there's a lot. There's a lot going on here. So now <laughs> there's also a bunch of side story I'm not gonna get into, but a fucking couple demons over in Azasla and shit. We kill them too. Don't worry about that. That's shorthand story. Also, we meet a small child who's supposed to be from the void. We're not too sure. And then we, his master. Listen, he's on our team now. I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore with that. We'll see in Stormblood. But <laughs> but all right, so we're out. We're going to go kill some, like, we're, the Garleans are happening. And then Legs jumps off from the sky and dives in and fucking zooms in and kills herself for us. And I'm like, no, not Legs. I liked you better. Not why the dragon bastard. Why not him? <laughs> Maybe even Alphano. But I kind of like Alphano. We'll keep him. <laughs> Shin likes Alphano. We'll keep Alphano. <laughs> all right, so do all this crap. Go to Oslo. Figure that all out. Get that. Come back. <laughs> come back all of a sudden warriors of darkness they're all like guess what we're the <laughs> all of a sudden it's like haha no but it's me warriors of darkness because if you've ever watched <laughs> they're like the dio of our fucking group all right so they're just like all right well they're your dio brando we get it all right see you guys later oh by the way the first time you see him is on the moon they are like are we going to the moon we're never went to the moon so get that fucking out of your head right now we're never going to the moon maybe 
<laughs> Maybe 5.0. There's probably a girly in space station someplace. Um, so, done with that. Now, <laughs> now, we kill the fucking dragon. We kill the dragon, and then Astinian, then we stab Astinian a couple times. We go shank, 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 all right? And then he's, <laughs> then we drop. It's fine. We rip the eyes out of him, and then our ghost pals come with us, and, and Alpha Node's ripping one side off, and I'm ripping one side off. We throw the fucking eyes over the bat, and I'm like, wait, why this? The, like, but that's a chasm. No one will go down there. They went down there. <laughs> they grab it. The fucking warriors of darkness grab the thing. <laughs> And then they're all like, now we have your eyes. And we're like, oh no, not the eyes. And then they gave him to, it's like, we're going to give it to the, the fucking, what's his name? The Falcon. They gave it to the Falcon. Griffin? The whatever, the fucking dude with the fucking bird name, Birdman. They gave it to Birdman. <laughs> Birdman, who I was suspicious with before. Also, this is the first time we see Pop Lamimo in, at this point, Ida. <laughs> Pin in that. Come back. Zoom back. <laughs> Right? Zoom back. By the way, still the warrior darkness, still being asked to do all this shit. God damn it. I, my life is like, I guess I'm just the chosen one. No problems. Go all the way back. Estinian sitting there, Alpha Note's next to his bed, giving him this long fucking Frodo bagging Samwine, Ga Samwise Gamgee look. Like, I like you. And he's like, not today, bitch. And he walks on out and he leaves some flowers for legs because he had a crush apparently this whole time. Don't know what's going on there. We'll never know because she's dead. <laughs> All right. So now we still have to, we have some loose ends to go clear up. Next thing you know, fucking war is in darkness that was like five minutes of story next thing you know alice comes up she's got a cool fucking book sword all of a sudden she's she's fucking she's in gryffindor she pulls a sword out of some shit <laughs> she's just wailing it about like she fucking rules the place <laughs> And then it's fine. And then all of a sudden the mother crystals like I've been here the whole time are like, oh shit. All right, cool. What's going on? And it's like, well, so you guys know our, our place is surrounded in darkness. And then your guys is like, just be cool with it. Balance it out. And is like, I listen, I've made mistakes. Are we cool? And then Mephilia was like, yeah, we cool, bro. And then everybody was like, all right, Ariange, you're back on the team. And then we get everything together. And then all of a sudden, the Falcon's doing some crazy fucking wacky do shit. And then all of a sudden, he's like hyping people up, like, we're going to start a war. And then everybody's like, no, don't start a war. And then everybody's like, okay, we can start a war. <laughs> and then it's fine. And we go start a war. And the next thing you know, fucking Popplemo is like, I got this. I'm going to create a little bubble. <laughs> he pops as a bubble, kicks us back on the fucking airship. We go on the airship. We come back. The next thing you know, we got a fucking cool robot, and then the coolest fight scene ever takes place, ever in this game, between a dragon and a robot. And then, <laughs> then, that's done, and then next thing you know, psh, fucking tattoos go, like, off of his, off of fucking, this is the lady's neck, and next thing you know, she's like, I'm not Yida, I'm Lee, so we're like, this whole fucking time?! <laughs> And the only person with a sense of reason in this fucking entire game is named Nero Tolscavia, and he's like, you can't always count on your hero! <laughs> yes! I agree with him! Fuck! That is heaven's word in a nutshell, and you want people to play through that? Fuck them, let them skip the story! I already did this with a Realm Reborn, we can do this with <laughs> heaven's word, and it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll all be fine. I want to point out that I did enjoy the Heaven's Word story. I also enjoyed your abridged version, apart from the end where I had to take my headphones off because it was just really, really loud. It was a great story. Also, the Griffin, damn it. It's the Griffin. The Falcon is Johnny Falcon, and that's different. He's important. Also, Gozetsu has, like, he's pretty sane, too, in terms of oh, like, the whole group. You mean, you mean, you mean Gilgamesh, too? The fucking Falcon Birdman. <laughs> it's Birdman now. Fucking Bird. Did I call him Falcon again? Fucking Bird. Whatever. Well, all I'm saying is that's a lot of story. I love the story. Shin loves the story. Majority of the people we talk to and know love this story. But there's a majority of people we also know that will skip it. For the love of life, we'll no, skip it. I'd say that's it. a minority. And... I'd say it's a minority of people who would want to skip it. <laughs> no, his name is things that I won't say on stream, but Flattus would. Knob, knob, knob cobbler? No? I don't know. He's dead anyway. Yeah.
Birdman from Cash Money Millionaires? Yes. So, I don't know how to end this now. So, yeah, so jump potions, story skip potions. Are you drinking my soupe, Guadalupe? <laughs> Do you know? You know what I'm saying? You're drinking my sake, Kimasabe? What's going on? I'm no? pretty sure I'm not even drinking the same water that you're on. <laughs> I don't. That was in me. That, <laughs> that was in me. You love. Listen. If you. I'll have an abridged version of Stormblood, too. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry your head. Oh, I know. We have to wait two years now for the abridged version of Stormblood. Yeah, it's going to happen. But damn. <laughs> spoilers? <laughs> spoilers? I said spoilers. I mean, what do you... <laughs> All right, so I'm going to... I know how to end. I got nothing to, to wrap up on here. I, I got nothing. All right, so let me end it like this. Like, good or bad, if we agree or disagree, guess what? The potions are coming. All right, just let people have it. If people are going to get good, they're going to get good. If people are going to stay bad, they're going to stay bad. You choose the people who you play with. All right, if you jump, join a random and someone's bad, help them learn. That's your choice. Mentor or not, you have the ability to help somebody learn how to be good at their game. Now, if they give, they pull some shit, like I, I pay my fifteen dollars, I can play this game how I please. Kick them, kick their ass out. Like I don't always condone that. No, don't, don't kick them out. But you have the choice of leaving if you don't want to play in that group. Yeah, I, I guess if you can leave too. I guess. Uh, so. I guess. I guess. If you want to be the nice person, be the nice. Maybe be the nice. Maybe maybe be maybe go shins route. Be the nice person. But you have those options, right? And the people that are going to get good, they're going to get good. And guess what? That means great things for us. That means great things for everybody. More people to run content with. More people that are going to want to raid. It's going to be easier to find people that are going to want to heal or tank or even, I mean, DPS is not going to be a problem. <laughs> but you're going to find more people that are coming from other games because they've heard about raiding in this game or heard about the end game stuff in this game. Yeah, don't go my route. <laughs> so... From me as a person who plays this game, loves this game, I don't, listen, I don't always come on a pedestal and say, like, this is the most perfect game in the world, everybody should buy it and perfect, but I always, when I see things like this, change change is a kernel for opportunity, right? It's always, it's a, it's a, it's a little seed that you can plant for opportunity, and all this change between the PvE stuff, the PvP stuff, and now the Jump Potion, that is opportunity to get more players to get more people into pvp to people to better synergize and 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 get into raiding get into the pve content they've never been able to get into or beat for the first time and that's fantastic and i don't understand why you would want not to have that why you would not want to have people to be able to play the game that they pay for like, I, I'm all for the people that may say, hey, I pay 15 bucks a month and I want to try this content out, but I may need help. Or I need, like, the the tw my opener, my 20-button rotation. I just can't do that. I, I don't have enough buttons or the the capacity to move my fit. Like, what about the people that have carpal tunnel? For grace? <laughs> like, I'm like, you got to take into consideration there may be some people with certain disabilities or disabilities that cannot do things. Like, I, you know, I have a MMO mouse for the sake of me not having... The need to hit 20 buttons across my keyboard i can just do it across my mouth my mouth my mouth also my mouth i guess so you know be a kind-hearted person and if you disagree with somebody just don't argue with them like you think you know what the hell's going on like change is not bad change is a good thing if you're afraid of change maybe you got deeper issues <laughs> gotta talk to somebody about that um so with that i guess that wraps up episode 39 of maelstrom radio what a weird and wonderful show this was <laughs> shin has nothing to add for the end of the show i am pretty sure everybody in chat was like i don't know what the fuck just happened we got a lot of people in but it was amazing <laughs> it it was something it was something so I wanna. That's every. That is every week. I'm not gonna lie about that. So I'm gonna. Shin, you wanna say goodbye to everybody? So your amounts. Want to do show promotion? Maybe you wanna do that.
you don't want to do show from i can All do right. it no no i i got it i just after that i i feel so it's hard to follow up on that <laughs> i feel bad anybody that listens they're gonna be like what the fuck just happened that was great. Aquamon already posted there that we need someone to animate that and upload it to YouTube. And I agree, both for the A Realm Reborn version and for this one. We need it to be done. Yeah, if you're an animator, come talk to us. It would be beautiful. Yeah. Anyways, you can find us live every day, Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, Mondays at twitch.tv forward slash Maelstrom Radio. Uh, recorded, we have it on iTunes, Google Play Music, and Stitcher, usually up by about midweek. Uh, you can also find episodes on our blog or subscribe through your favorite podcatcher, uh, www.maelstromradio.com. If you have any comments, questions, answers, angry rants, uh, complaints, uh, send them our way at show at maelstromradio.com. You can follow us on Twitter at maelstrom, maelstrom underscore radio, on Facebook at facebook.com slash maelstromradio, or here on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash maelstromradio. <laughs> I would suggest that one if you want to see these rants live. <laughs> we do it on no other platform live. Yeah. No. I mean, we could if we use Restream. We could do that. I may think about that. Maybe, right. maybe we can start streaming on Mixer. Yeah. We can use Restream to stream on Mixer. That's a lot to I don't know. We'll figure it out. I, we probably shouldn't because the whole like dating site joke thing, just we don't need more material for this show. <laughs> What are you talking about? We always need more material for the show. Yeah, but we need more quality material. We've got enough shit posting. Oh, okay. That flat is the mouth of the South. Is that my... <laughs> that's, 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 that's more... I don't know what that is, but I'm, I'm keeping that. Keeping that one. All right, well... You should do one of these one of those <laughs> and one of these uh oh uh, one last one off in chat dear christ <laughs> so i guess that's the one way to end this i want to thank everybody that showed up tonight to listen to whatever this was uh i want to i appreciate everything that shin does for the show like putting up with me uh and uh, we'll see you all next week. We may have a special guest. I have to ask. I don't know who it is yet. That is spoilers. So, until next time, and until Sea Swall is all, keep listening. Maelstrom Radio is a production of MaelstromRadio.com, Blackfire Media Productions. Final Fantasy XIV and Eorzea are trademarks of Square Enix. Opening theme provided by Benjamin Anthony James. You can find more of their music over at soundcloud.com forward slash ben773. Our outro is provided by Sodo. You can find more of their music over at soundcloud.com forward slash Sodo. Views and opinions expressed on this episode are of those of Maelstrom Radio and their hosts, and do not reflect the views and opinions of Square Enix. And until C swallows all, keep listening.